We now start by launching Pipe Optics from your computer's desktop. At this time, Pipe Optics will detect the video overlay, load the NASCO inspection template, and initialize the preview window. The preview window is the area where the video will be displayed. Once we are at the main screen, we want to click on the mainline tab to start a mainline inspection. Before we can begin recording, we need to fill in the asset information under the asset tab, ensuring we fill in all the required fields shown in red and in bold lettering. For the purpose of this demo, we are using sample data. We will now move over to the inspection tab. As you can see, the fields have been pre-populated. When doing an inspection in the field, the operator will populate the fields with data pertaining to that asset. As you can see, the red and bold fields are required. For this inspection, we are traveling upstream and have indicated that in the camera direction field. Now that all the required fields have been populated, the record button is no longer grayed out and we are ready to start recording. Now that we are recording, we need to make a couple of observations. This is required per NASCO standard. First, we will mark an access point, which in this case is a manhole. Enter a comment and save. Now Pipe Optics will keep a record of this observation in the conditions box for data collection. Access point, manhole at 0, 0.0 feet DS Marshall. Island. The next observation we are required to mark is the water level. Per NASCAR standard, the water level needs to be marked in 5% increments. water level at 0, 0.0 feet 5% diameter now that we have our two required observations we can proceed with our asset inspection at nearly 30 feet into the line we arrive at our first observation in this case it is a lateral segment from previous inspections we know that this lateral is capped and will mark the lateral accordingly we click the red flag and apply the corresponding code of TF which is tap factory we mark the lateral clock position in the pipe and the pipe size. As you can see, the fields in bold are required. Click Save and the observation will be saved to the conditions box. Tap Factory made at 29.2 feet, 9 o'clock. We travel further down the pipe and now have arrived at a lateral that we want to inspect. Before we inspect the lateral, we will flag it in our mainline lateral inspection. We click on the red flag and apply the corresponding tap factory code. Enter the clock position and the size of the lateral and save. The lateral is now recorded to the conditions box. Tap factory made at 33.0 feet. Before we begin our lateral inspection, we will position the lateral camera launcher to ensure smooth entry into the lateral. After positioning the lateral camera launcher, we can now click the lateral toolbar button. This will pause the mainline video recording and transition to a lateral inspection. As you can see, much of the data is carried over from the mainline inspection. Fill in the lateral segment reference field shown in the bold red letters. This must be filled in before we can begin to record a lateral inspection. Access point mainline at 0, 0.0 feet. Here we show the lateral camera entering the lateral. Now the picture in picture is disabled so that it only shows lateral video in the preview window. Marking observations in a lateral is very much the same as marking observations in a mainline inspection, as you will soon see. Here we observe some roots protruding from a joint. Let's flag it. Click on the red flag. Apply the appropriate code. In this case, it is roots fine joint. You will notice we are applying the lateral footage manually. Pipe Optics has the capability to auto populate the lateral footage, but this vehicle did not have the required hardware to send the information to the software. 
We now enter the clock position indicating the location of the defect and click Save. As you can see, the observation is now recorded to the conditions box for data collection. Roots. Fine. Joint at 2.1 feet. 8 o'clock. 20 feet into the lateral, we observe more roots on the side of the pipe. We notice the roots travel further up the pipe. This is a good time to flag a continuous defect. Just as we have done before, click on the red flag and apply the corresponding code, footage, clock position, click save to record it to the conditions box. Roots. Fine. Lateral at 20. As we move forward, feet, we see where the roots end. Since we already flagged the roots, there is no need to reflag the observation. From the conditions box, click the observation showing the start of the continuous defect. Now in the footage field, we can mark the ending footage for the continuous defect. Click on Save and it will now update the observation in the conditions box. Roots. Fine. Lateral at 20.0 feet. Continuous for 1. You will notice feet, that the new length column has been added to the conditions box showing the length of the continuous defect. Here we see another obstruction, possibly roots. As we have done previously, we will go ahead and flag this obstruction. In this case, the obstruction is not confined to one area of the pipe. So for this observation, we will assign two clock positions indicating its location in the pipe and save it. Roots, ball, barrel at 33.9 feet from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Here we see another example area. of a continuous defect. We click the red flag, enter the corresponding code, and enter the footage and its clock position in the pipe. Since this is being marked as a deposit, we are required to enter a percentage before we can save the observation. As we move further up the lateral, we reach the end of the continuous defect. Let's click on the observation in the conditions box and enter the ending footage of the defect. Once we save it, we will see the total length of the defect in the length column, noted as 1.4 feet. Deposits attached in cross station at 38.8 feet. Continuous for 1.400002 feet, 4 o'clock, 10% area. Here we arrive at the end of our lateral inspection. We need to end the inspection with an access point. In this case, it is the clean out property code. Enter the footage and save. Access point clean out. Property we can now end our lateral recording. Feet. Once we click on the stop button, Pipe Optics will automatically save the lateral inspection. For this demo, we have omitted the lateral camera retrieval portion of the video. When the lateral camera has been retrieved, we can click on the mainline toolbar button to go back to our mainline inspection. By default, the recording will be paused. We click on the resume button to continue our recording. If there was another lateral we wanted to inspect, we would just need to repeat the previous procedure to do another lateral inspection. We are going to end our inspection at this point. Per the NASCO inspection template, we must enter a comment before we can save and end the inspection. We are just going to note that we were called back. And there you have it folks, a brief overview of the Pipe Optics inspection software.